So this is a video about upgrading a GPU in a Clavo P570WM. I ordered this kit on eBay from, I think, Upgrade My Laptop. And uh, that's I think that's the company name this little package came from. Syracuse, New York. And they were, uh, the package, the shipping cost was a little high uh, with FedEx it's like 40 bucks but they were nice and included I told them that this won't be a single GPU upgrade but this would be uh, a GPU next to an existing GPU so he, they put the SLI bridge here you see uh, for free and uh, I have the pads here IC diamond uh, paste which is a, a good paste and I think it's non-conductive hopefully I have the heatsink and cooling integrated together and I have the required screws here and Finally, I have the GPU itself. And I don't have any manual for this. And I checked this is the right GPU. It's a 880 uh, GTXM. So we're gonna go by instinct. I already removed the battery, as you can see. That's always the first thing you want to do all right so I have to figure out which screw go where so I have we have four metallic screws three black screws and two uh, usually the these uh, hold down the heatsink onto the core that's my uh, guess I also have to figure out how to apply these pads So 3M, this is a, looks like it, uh, so I will have to remove the green uh, marks and uh, probably this gonna be the button. I'm already marking it. So The, G the GPU is facing here and what I guess is I'm gonna need to orient it this and this will cover the bottom but what is this two thing it's, there's no because these are for the memory chips as you can see laying out but there's no stuff related to these two pads if I look to the other side then yeah, the, definitely not that. so that's the bottom side let's look at this stuff make sure heatsink Plus the cooler. Nice. I was warned on forums that sometimes the second bay for GPUs is not the same as the first bay. I hope that it's 
won't be a problem because here the two bays look the same and that's logical that would be logical because then you don't have to manufacture different stuff for the two bays now so this gonna I will have to grease the, the GPU these are pads uh, for the memories and this goes together and these are for uh, the voltage regulators here two voltage free two free stage voltage regulators this will match up now let's see let's uh, figure out the screws uh, I have two white screws and those the white screws should, should go here I have four metallic ones. They, the four metallic ones, interestingly, my guess wasn't right. They will uh, hold down this, the actual uh, heatsink which connects to the GPU. There. And then. Yeah. I have three more screws. Probably for these holes, but those hole, holes, no. I, hold on, I just see two. Two parts which. Oh my god, they, they are really in a really weird non-horizontal, non-vertical. They are rotated, all of them. Um, I was worried uh, that they are damaged, but it looks like that all of them are oriented the same way, so probably it's not damaged, hopefully. So, um, all right, and uh, let's see once more about the screws. So uh, probably I will have the four metallic screws. This one has also four. Four holes, uh, which, uh, yeah, this gonna come up here like that uh -huh. yeah I will have to use uh, this these three so okay the answer is that the three black screws will hold the fan onto the heatsink assembly the four metallic screws will secure the heatsink on top of the GPU plus the two special screws will hold it down towards and for those special screws even there's a cutout here so I think I got the screws right dude I did before uh, I did a motherboard replacement but I'm very nervous because this is a laptop costed more than two grand and the this upgrade kit is almost a grand so although I did motherboard replacement but those were old laptops and I had four friends to keep them alive if you have to replace a motherboard, then it basically means that you have to gut out everything. 
you better have a manual because there are so many screws and so many cables that I, I as far as I remember yeah that one was uh, an Omnibook XE3 I had to take it apart once more and put it together because uh, something didn't work and I knew that I probably didn't connect some cable probably alright so here we go we have the blank slot this one well, let's remove this good news is that the other Other GPU looks like the same, maybe they even ProStar even ordered it from the same company who knows. Looks really the same. Don't fall, little screw. Don't fall, please. You fail. Okay. Well, this is the blank slot. I have two screws. So I have two. Mm. Two. Lay down first. This tying. This direction. And do that really well. probably I can fingerprint the person who assembled it all right let's see I'm just very curious that how this SLI bridge gonna go so where where the SLI bridge goes that's, that's a question I see one. Uh, I master slave. And the problem is that here's the SI connector. But if I put this on like that. All of the everything is in the way. Ah oh, man, that's awesome. Maybe so the other one is identical. situated like this and if I connect this one there it has to go a problem so how can this go there and I have to like show it back and
I'm bummed. No.